again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of February, 2019. Just read a rather interesting article on political. You'll see a photograph of that warmonger, John Bolton. And uh, he's behind President Donald J. Trump. Regime change by tweet, question mark. John Bolton hopes so. President Trump's national security advisor has become an unlikely social media star. Written by Elena Johnson, published on the 13th of February, 2019. He is the unlikeliest social media star of the Trump administration. At 70 years old, and in one of Washington's most sensitive jobs, national security advisor John Bolton has started tweeting with the frequency and often the passion of his boss. Trump's third national security advisor is using Twitter far more often, more colorfully than any of his predecessors, making policy pronouncements and lambasting perceived bad guys. His targets range widely from the Cuban government to Vladimir Putin's Russia to the failing New York Times. In recent weeks, he has trained his fire on the embattled socialist regime of Venezuela's Nicolas Maduro. On a single day in February, Bolton tapped out seven tweets, several of them directed at Maduro and his allies, warning them to relinquish power. It's time for Maduro to get out of the way, he wrote. Again, what business is it of ours, huh? It isn't any of our business wasn't any of our business in various other countries that we've brought about regime change, like in Libya. What's the state of Libya now? Well, it's controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood. You can actually buy slaves in the slave market in Libya. Unheard of during Gaddafi's day. Under the handle at M. John Bolton, he has offered Venezuela generals a serious invitation to defect and snarked at the country's defiant ruler. I wish Nicolas Maduro and his top advisors a long, quiet retirement, living on a nice beach somewhere far from Venezuela, he wrote in late January. Many of the tweets have appeared in Spanish in an effort to communicate directly with the Venezuelan military leaders who are propping up the Maduro regime. It's a striking departure from the norm, given that national security advisors have traditionally stayed most out of public view. Well, we've never had a true, complete warmonger in that position until Bolton came on the scene. Like I said, Trump doesn't know how to pick people. I just heard that Rand Paul is not going to vote in favor of William Barr, the new hopeful, as far as Trump is concerned, heading up the Department of Justice, the new Attorney General. That guy, too, has a very dark history. Ruby Ridge comes to mind. At times, Bolton tweets have even taken on triumphant quality, liberally incorporating exhortions and exclamation points. The U.S. will consider sanctions off ramps for any Venezuelan senior military officer that stands for democracy, yeah, like we have democracy in this country, huh? in the constitutional government of President Juan Guaido. Uh, how could that be President Juan Guaido when he's never been elected by the people to be president? Bolton tweeted last week, if not, the international financial circle will be closed off completely make the right choice. On Monday, he even recorded a short video tweeted out by the White House official account, sending a menacing message to Iran's supreme leader on the 40th anniversary of the country's Islamic revolution. Quote, I don't think you'll have any more anniversaries to enjoy, Bolton declares in the video. That is a direct threat. This guy's a loose cannon. An absolute loose cannon. 
Bolton's associates say that, much like the president, he views Twitter as a means of circumventing traditional media to reach people directly. He, they, the Venezuelan military offers, or American Trump supporters, the White House has all but eliminated the daily press briefing. And Trump himself has said on Twitter, of course, that he told his press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, not to bother conducting briefings anymore because the word gets out anyway, largely through Trump's own Twitter feed. You know, I had said that those press briefings are a total waste of time, and it appears that they finally come to that same realization. Trump doesn't know how to pick people and he's destroyed his own presidency because of it. That's sort of what I think. Making Jared Kushner a senior advisor and Ivanka Trump a senior advisor is totally insane. They weren't elected by us. What can Jared Kushner, a snot-nosed idiot that doesn't understand anything about the Quran, and doesn't understand anything about Muslims that follow the Quran, like the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. I could go on, but you sort of get the point. You want to read the article? It's uh, most revealing, most interesting, and probably somewhat frightening having a loose cannon like John Bolton have the ear of President Trump. It's absolutely insane. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. No point sending it to Trump. He doesn't listen anyway.